Welcome to Eternity Cemetery. Alright. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, we got ourselves some more demon bedrooms. So, let's clear them out one by one. Come on, go down already. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, it took a while to kill that Baron. And again, they could not see me through these grated doors. That just doesn't make sense. If you can see through these doors, then so should the demons. So I should have been alerted when I entered this room instead of when I fired my weapon. Last bedroom. And there we go. And there's a switch right here. Which will open up this door. Oh! And we have ourselves some crushers. Alright. Let's make our way across. Oh shit. Okay, get the hell out of my way. <laughs> Sending the Chaos Serpent flying. Oh boy, what can I talk about here? Oh, I know the perfect subject to talk about. Uh, the Mythbusters Zombie Special. Yep, it aired on the Discovery Channel last uh, last night. And oh crap! Okay. <laughs> nice. Anyway, yeah, the Mythbusters Zombie Special, which aired last night on the Discovery Channel, and summoned some of my helper marines. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Um, last night's episode of Mythbusters Zombie Special is when uh, they tested out three different zombie myths. First one was uh, which weapon is better to use against a zombie apocalypse? A gun or an axe? And it turns out the weapon of choice is an axe. Since the axe can take out twice as much zombies as the gun. Uh, the second myth is, can you outrun a horde of zombies? Since zombies are pretty much slow moving and kind of dumb. And it turns out that um, the more zombies there are and the less room there is to maneuver around, the more difficult it can get. But another thing about zombies, they can be easily distracted. And the third myth is, can, can you save yourself by running into a barn and boarding up the door? Well, it didn't work well at first, but if you, like, nail the crap out of the door, put, like, I don't know, like a dozen planks of wood onto the door, it will save you. It was a good episode, I really liked it. Ah, 
three secrets found already. Four more to go. Uh, is there anything else I can pick up around here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get a move on, shall we? I'm going here now. Activate the visor. And take care of the hallway of imps. So anyway, yeah, um... If you watched last night's episode of Mythbusters... Um... I'm pretty sure you liked it, as much as I did. It's a really good episode. I hope you liked it anyway. <laughs> Holy crap, what's that sound? I'm hearing this sort of... eerie voice. Ah, coming from down there. We have our next new enemy. A Chaos Elemental. Yep, it's a gray pain elemental that shoots gas out of their eyes. Instead of lost souls from their mouths. Uh, Railgun? And be careful when you kill them, because they can explode like uh, the regular pain elementals. And this time when you kill them, they'll shoot out the uh, poison cloud that travels in every direction. So you gotta watch out for those. And here's the next secret. So there are two secrets left. Wait, what am I doing? Alright. Blow with my rocket launcher now. Next secret is right here. Notice how the wall of this hallway is all bone? Well, this wall panel right here is all skulls. And it's the next secret. Alright. Now, let's make our way down this really freaking long lift. Have my chalice highlighted. Energy, rea uh, energy reactor cannon at the ready. And... Any second now. Let's go. Yeah! Take that, bitch. Alright, there's the exit right there, but there are still a few monsters remaining, and there is one secret left as well. Now, I know there are, <coughs> I know there are teleporter placers in this mod, but for some odd reason, they're not working. I mean, I put down the teleporter placer, and then I pull out the remote that will allow me to teleport to that location. But if I switch to another weapon, I can't switch back to the remote somehow. I don't know what, why that is. Uh, anyway, time to speed things up and kill the remaining monsters in the process.
Alright, here's the final secret. And we got ourselves a star orb, and... What is this? The unholy weapon. Freedom for the evil. Oh man, I can't wait to try this weapon out. Alright. Let's hurry on back to the exit and get the hell out of here. Go ahead and exit. And that was Eternity Cemetery with 100% of everything. And as of right now, we have all the weapons of Neo Doom in our possession. And there are five maps left in this Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time for map 26. See you later, alligator.